What up, guys? Savvy Echo here. Welcome back to the sesh. Uh, today I'm doing an unboxing review of the Toys R Us 2017 Comic Con shared exclusives. Uh, so far, I've just gotten one of them in because uh, for some reason, Tinkles from Rick and Morty was delayed with Ghost and Jar. So it's on its way, though. I finally got the confirmation through my email. So glad it did because uh, I was kind of worried for a bit. And I'm still worried for Box Suns because they haven't sent out anything. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to open the sucker up. And uh, hopefully the first item from Toys R Us came in mint. Uh, as I said in the previous video, GameStop kind of messed me over on three of the seven pops that I got. So... Hopefully, as I said, this one came out pretty good. So, here we go. It's only one pop because uh, I didn't get the other one. So, it's X23. And uh, from the looks of it, came in mint from what I can see. So, uh no dings the box looks good the pop itself looks pretty badass nothing to complain about these guys they did an awesome job with the shipping as i said came in mint uh when you did place an all-in order they only limited it to you to one per household so uh i'm pretty sure a lot of you were guys should have been able to get it uh it was pretty easy by far one of the easier so Without further ado, saying that, I am going to open this sucker up and show you a up and closer personal look, uh, just to show you the back of the box. It's got Cable, Archangel, Quicksilver, Psylocke, Sabretooth, and Storm. I still need to get the rest of these guys, because I've been lagging it on getting them, but there's just too many pops. Uh, so this is number 230. Cool, let's do it. So before I show the pop out of the box, uh, just wanted to clarify what I said earlier about the shipping, the way they handled the shipping. Uh, it wasn't great. It was uh, more like luck. Uh, I take back what I said. Uh, these pops should definitely come bubble wrap, some sort of padding, so they don't get damaged. And because you're paying for shipping and you're trying to get exclusives and you know, if they run out, there's no way they're going to get be able to get replaced and you're going to be stuck with a damaged box and it's uh, becoming a more of a more problem, especially when it comes to these limited exclusives. So, you know, they definitely got to step up their game in that section. So I just wanted to clarify. Uh, it was an awesome job. It was more purely luck. But, uh, you know, these things happen with shipping and uh, that's why I'd rather go in store to pick them up. But like I said... Some people can't. Some people work. Some people have, uh, you know, no time to be doing this. But uh, just wanted to clarify that. Uh, so just to get into the pop right here, uh, you guys are going to be disappointed. Uh, she does not stand by herself. Uh, she keeps uh, flipping over. Her head's too heavy. And uh, Funko had issues when they started doing these new female frame body types where they're like super skinny from the bottom now instead of um, being the normal size that they had them before and the way they resolved that was that uh, they added the stand at the bottom you know they would add like two holes at the bottom of her feet so you know the plastic stand would keep her standing but unfortunately uh, this pop did not come with one so this pop is going to become an in the box pop now which is unfortunate but uh, just to let you know pop does not stand by itself uh, this is a bobblehead and uh, like I said it's not gonna stand unless maybe you lean it back against something but at that point you run the risk of it falling off your display and breaking so who wants that uh, but just to get into its details uh, I did notice some black lines around her face so maybe that's fixable a friend of mine recommended a magic eraser says it does wonders uh, some little tiny scuffs, you know, around the hairline, paint bleeds mostly, but uh, nothing too crazy. They did a pretty solid job on the hair, 
It's nice and wavy. Looks cool. And uh, the mask is pretty legit. You know, no paint bleeds, no scuffings, you know. So that's pretty solid. Uh, just to get into the body, like I said, number one complaint is out of stand Funko. These, this pop wasn't going to stand and the head is too heavy. So, you know, either revert back to the uh, regular sized bodies or if you're going to continue making them, you know, like this skinny, uh, scrawny body frames add at least a stand so uh, people can display them properly out of the box. Uh, they did a solid job on her claws. They look cool. Would have been nice and maybe they would have added that to the legs. Who knows, maybe it would have given a little more support to uh, stand up, right? So that would have been cool. That could have been the issue solver. Uh, the belt looks nice. The X is clear. Uh, just a couple of paint scuffs, like, you know, paint bleeds on the upper part right here. But, uh, you know, it's kind of hard when you... I don't know if they add the head before or... You know, they paint this before. And uh, something new I noticed too, uh, there's a serial number at the bottom of the head here. You know, see more of that paint bleed I was talking about. But uh, I don't know if they're gonna, if they other pops have that. I noticed that. And, uh, you know, usual stamp on her feet. You know, Marvel. Some details right there. But uh, that's new. Never noticed that. Uh, if you have seen it, let me know. You know, I've maybe I've just, you know, never played... Uh, pay too much close attention, but uh, overall, the colors on this pop are nice, make it pop out. Uh, the back was pretty solidly done, and uh, they did a good job on the on the belt. See like a couple of paint markings that don't belong there with the blue and yellow, but uh, overall, a uh, nice looking pop. Uh, just wish they would include a stand, but uh. Thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, comment. Does your pop stand? I mean, was I maybe unlucky and I didn't, you know, I didn't get the stand you guys did? Uh, uh, let me know and uh, hopefully your pop comes in safe because, like I said, take back what I said. It wasn't a great job shipping. It's just pure luck. They definitely need to start stepping up the game, put padding, airbags around it so there isn't any unfortunate accidents. But, uh, Thanks again for watching and uh, stay tuned. More videos are coming. Peace out. Later.